Well, 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 here's a Friday. I got up for some yard sales and an estate sale. Uh, uh, the yard sale, what did I buy? I guess, I guess it's not back here. Um, I got, I went to household sale, which was an estate sale. Uh, I got this little Asian thingy, lacquered thing. Got a lid. Uh, 450. I don't know if it's worth it. It's vintage, but it's not marked. Oh yeah it is. It's patented. So that's cool. Um, and I found this. I saw a comp. Looked like somebody took an offer on 40 some dollars. Mid-century tiki god three-sided ashtray. I don't think it used to have a lid. Whoa. Sorry. Could have. Uh, I paid 250 for this dumb dish. It's the uh, I didn't see one for this and it's got that uh, you know cool look. Uh, it's old sleepy eye with the Indian on it. Uh, trademark. Uh, there's some other dishes similar to this, but they were only a dollar a piece, but they didn't have the extra, uh, whatever, opalescent. Paid three for these dumb, uh, Gillette blade things for the pair. I don't know, shouldn't lose any money on them. Um, this bookmark was kind of cool for three bucks. It is a 1933 Chicago's World's Fair, 1833, a century of progress. Uh, I don't think it has any maker name on it, but uh, kind of cool. A little pitted, but yeah. And I went back in and got these spoons for four fifty. I almost put them back, and I know this stuff doesn't always sell good. And then I, I decided to keep them because they got that kind of cool. Uh, design on mid-century looking thing they're not typical so I might put them on for like 25 bucks or something like that I don't know they're neat uh, what else I got I paid two for this out in the garage or back shed just for the globe of course because like cherubs but uh oh I, I don't know it doesn't look very old it's marked on the bottom uh, Headco Incorporated, but I don't know. I'll look it up first, see what's going on. Oh, and this is the other thing. Oh, this is out back. It's a head. <laughs> it's a teapot. I didn't find one like this online. There was one unmarked, but see, it's Norquest, the same brand as that mermaid. And it is a black cat. Well, not totally all black, but I don't know. I don't know what it's worth. Let me chip it up first, that way it'll make sure it's worth good money all chipped up. Uh, and I think that's it for the, uh, seems like I'm forgetting one item. I bought something else when I got the spoons when I went back inside. Hmm, I don't remember. Maybe it's on the front seat. Uh, got this at Goodwill for $1.99. Should be worth at least 10 bucks or more. It's a 1995 one. I know it depends on the face. That's not a great face. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I love you. Uh, so yeah, that's that junk. Let's see. No, uh -oh. left my door open. Ah, uh, two-bit store. Was this was a, how much was this little doggy in the window? I already knew it was a quarter, but it takes batteries. Don't know if it works. Maybe we'll find out together. Oh, I this dumb thing. Four fifty for a gold weepy gold dog made by Dixon Art Studios, but I don't know, I didn't really, couldn't find any dogs, I haven't seen one for a while, so I don't know, it's still got to be worth where I can, I think about 20 bucks on it, maybe, I don't know if it's worth it, uh, hold on, yeah, I picked up this Dance of the Wolves, because my friend Dan wanted to watch it, and I had the edition in the book or whatever, like a journal edition, and I sold it, and he didn't get it, I don't know, this says full frame, I don't know, it says screen format full frame. Now I don't know, they should say full screen, but not full frame. So I don't know if this was originally filmed in full frame. It says 70 millimeter on the back, so I, I don't know. Because I know like The Godfather is originally, you're supposed to watch it in a 3x4, or the, you know, 4x3 format. So when you watch it letterbox, it's actually going to chop, I guess. I don't know. And they had a quarter, this stupid mushroom box for a quarter. It looks like somebody's got something on it, yeah. Alright, I went clear down the cherry tree. 
and I didn't think I was going to find anything, so I took another look around, and I found, uh, got a fish tray, aluminum for a dollar, it's a New York, or York Metal Crafters, and it's got, made in the USA, so I don't know, that's kind of neat, it's got to be worth a dollar, right? Uh, this was a dollar. It's like a six or like a cooler bag for your, your Corona or whatever else you want to stick in it. I figure it's got to be worth a buck too. So, hey baby, come here. Kitty, 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 come on. Come on, baby. Aw, poor baby. Well, this first thing I think I saw on the shelf was this for a dollar. It's a bank. I figure that's pretty cool. It's got some sort of licensed thing. Forever Collectibles, made in China. So we got that, and this was a quarter for this wooden shoe. I only got one. There's a hole in the one side. I don't know, maybe hang it up. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Wall pocket shoe. Nah, I don't know. There's a quarter. What can I say? I'll sell it flea market for a couple bucks, maybe. So they can paint it. Uh, they had napkins. I didn't buy the open pack, which had a. Uh, drink titles on it, but it was open, and these were not open, and uh, this one is, Happiness is Having a Friend, oh, is that a Pomeranian, and yeah, it's 50 cent, and these are fairly old, Snow Soft Surveyed Beverage Napkins, 25 napkins, serving paper, or Irving Paper Mills, Irving, Massachusetts, USA, and then this one, Hang in There, look at that, that's cool, 50 cents. A little newer. It's a beach tableware of distinction. Beach products. Penn Corporation. Kalamazoo, Michigan. So, uh, is that it? Oh my god. Wasn't even worth doing. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Late edition. Uh, this is stuff I got at, uh, oh, Associated Charities the other day. Yesterday, I guess it was. Batman mask, I've got six And two of these, Darth Vader's. Uh, I don't know if they work, I haven't tried them yet. They both take batteries, I don't know if they just make air breathing noises, or if they uh, are going to have uh, other uh, like voice changing capabilities. I don't think they're voice changers. Oh, uh, well, yeah, actually they could be because, wait, why do they have the thing on the top of the head? Oh well, I don't know. Batman mask had its things. So that's cool. It's, it's thing. It's tags. Now Darth Vader can go as Batman. I'm Batman. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? Hi, cutie. Oh, Mr. Purry today. Well, I went back to the estate sale half off. Uh, I got a pin for a buck fifty. I didn't. I didn't um, buy a couple of things. There was a couple of those uh, Joseph Original uh, International Women Ladies figurines, and uh, the one was uh, like a Dutch girl, and I actually had sold for thirty dollars. But I looked at it closer, and it had some minor damage on its hat, so I just left it. And then the other one didn't seem to be worth as much, so I left her too. I think she was England. Uh, this pen looks older, so I don't know. Uh, and this book was two bucks, so it was a dollar. Nineteen or eighteen eleven. <laughs> Cost slip. More cautionary tales. I don't know if it's worth a lot or not. Uh, I would say it's not. I saw a couple on Amazon. They seem to be cheap, but then it said up top for hardcover it was like I don't know more. I don't know if this is what they consider a hardcover. It's a little soft. Uh, oh. We can't get ahead of ourselves. I got this hat that was at the sale yesterday in the box for two bucks. I didn't buy it because I thought it was awful flimsy, but I think it's a painter's cap, so that's uh, okay. I don't think it used to have foam that fell out or anything like that. Hey, 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 hey! Don't touch the merchandise unless you're planning on paying for it. You paying for it? But anyway, I should be able to get something for this. Hey, 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 baby. 1984, see that's a good 100 year anniversary hat, so I'm going to ask probably at least maybe 50 bucks for it. Alright, now I'll be good. Alright, I went back to Goodwill. We're going to interrupt the last couple items from that other sale. Uh, I went back to Goodwill today. I got a thing to hold my credit cards and my license, which had skulls on it, but 
and I had to spend time looking up my receipt when I got home wondering what the heck I bought that I left laying on the counter then I realized it was that dumb thing that was in the van the whole time so and I don't know why I bought it because it's got four metal skulls and a couple rivets sticking up so it's going to be annoying to stick it in my pocket with my cards anyway I did buy two CDs for a dollar each a dirty looks the worst of dirty looks uh, case is broke, but that's not it. There's only like one list of one when I scan it. I only found one list, and the guy was asking $105 or some ridiculous thing for it. It can't be worth that. Uh, I've never seen it before, though, and it, it, it's got a UPC, so I don't know. Uh, and then I found Monty Python, which seems like it also sells. There's no UPC on it. I don't know if you had to buy it direct or some, something or what. Yeah, I don't think there's one on it. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, yeah, nope. Uh, and then the last couple things from the sale. Oh, I bought this stand, plant stand, whatever you want to call it. It was eight, so it was four dollars. It's like turned wood. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. I don't know what kind of money you can get for these kind of things. There was a cutting board, parts together hardwood, and yeah, a lot of knife marks. But all you'd have to do is re or re sand it down. I would assume, and it'd be back to normal. Or leave it the way it is, but I should have bought it when I'd been a dollar. It was footed. Alright, uh, and, uh, I got, this was in a box the other day, or yesterday, for $20 with some other tape measures and a bunch of fishing weights. Probably end up, they were worth more. But I told them I would give them $5 just for this rule, which I think it's, I don't know. I, I've seen a bunch of them online. I couldn't, or not a bunch, but I don't know if it's worth a lot or not. I didn't even take and open it all the way, so I might be in trouble once I do. So, uh, I, I got five bucks invested. I know I can get that out of it. Even a wooden one's worth that. So. Uh, and then I found this hammer. It was two dollars. Dollar. That's all I paid. Jim Dandy. True. Uh, forged by True Temper. So I don't know. It's worth a dollar, even if I just keep it for myself. Nice shape. But uh, I'll look it up. Might be worth reselling. I don't really get into tools too much, unless they're easy to deal with, basic stuff, or make me a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. Money's not everything, it's just something you have to have. So I guess that'll do it. Maybe I'll throw in and see if those Darth Vader's work, if you're lucky. Plans I sent you in that email for the new mini mall. 